Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome to another review this afternoon. Um, I got a request, actually I got a couple of requests, not just one, uh, to test out Spyware Doctor plus uh, antivirus. So I went and grabbed a copy and uh, it's fully updated. Every, everything has been, uh, it's, the settings are just like it comes um, when you install it. Nothing's been messed with. So you got everything um, I haven't turned anything on, turned anything off. It's got all the fun stuff here, global actions and all that stuff. So, let's do some testing here. These are um, fairly new. Uh, some of them have actually a fairly high detection ratio. Uh, some of them are very low detection. So kind of like a mix between everything out there. That one seems not to be working. Now Spyware Doctor, just for everybody to know, it does use, uh, because it's a PC Tools program, uh, it uses the um, the PC Tools antivirus plus some other modules. Now I know some of these are not detected by PC Tools, so uh, hopefully we'll see something else kick in from Spyware Doctor. Looks like it's doing something. Phone's going off. You can see Spyware Doctor working away, so looks like it blocked uh, something, and but it's kind of locked up my computer now. So uh, while this finishes doing whatever it's doing and my computer unlocks, I will pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, my computer has unlocked, but you can see there's some interesting uh, processes running here. Destination folder. Uh, okay, that's interesting. No, I will reboot later. Okay, looks like I blocked that one. Okay, that didn't, didn't look like it caught that one. Okay, it looks like it caught that one. So, I, I don't see any other, anything else kicking in here from uh, Spyware Doctor. At least nothing that's turned on from the factory. Let's see if we see anything that might give you a little bit more advanced. Potentially wanted programs, eh, not really. Password protection, game mode. Okay, hmm. we'll just keep going. Then once we run all of these, uh, because it asked me to reboot twice already, I'm going to reboot, and then I'm going to do a full system scan with it, and uh, then I'll give you guys the results so we don't waste any time here you watching me click away or watching it scan. That's just a waste of uh, everybody's time. Windows Firewall. Okay, and let's do the last one here. That one doesn't work. Okay, so now that it's asked me to reboot, I'm going to reboot, 
And then like I said, I'm going to do that full scan. So I'm going to be back after that full scan is done. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so finally the full scan is done and it found three things. Let's see where they're at. Temporary internet files, temporary internet files, temporary internet files. Okay, so we're going to clean these up and then uh, I'm going to run CCleaner and then Malwarebytes. So I'm going to get that done right now. Um, let's see here. Okay, while well, that's doing that, let's see if there's any root kits on here. Okay, I don't see anything came up. Alright, so uh, I'm going to start the scan here and um, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so now everybody's finished scanning here and I found. Well, never mind. It looks like it finished scanning. My fault. Uh, okay, the computer locked up. Alright, so I'm going to restart and try to do this scan again. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so finally Malwarebytes was able to finish. Found seven things. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we definitely got uh, some things. We got uh, Zbot, Trojan Dropper, a couple of registry keys, and a Trojan Agent. So we're going to remove all of these. Let's see if any of these are going to be removed on reboot. Quarantine, delete successfully, quarantine, delete successfully. Okay, so they're all good. From now on, I'm going to look here too to make sure uh, that none of these say delete on reboot. If they do, then I'm going to reboot. But all of these say deleted and quarantine successfully, so there's no point. Lastly, let's just run Hitman Pro here and see if it finds anything else. Hasn't popped up with a... Uh, oh, never mind. I was about to say it hasn't popped up with a root kit, but yeah, there you go. Uh, now the only thing that I can explain about why this isn't coming up with a root kit um, is maybe the root kit is not active, but uh, just for the hay of it, because now I can do a little bit longer tests, I'm going to use Gmer here um, to do a full scan. And we'll see if it says if it comes up with anything. So we got that one rootkit there. Uh, we got a Trojan. Let's see if it finds anything else. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video while this finishes scanning and Gmer finishes scanning. We'll see if they find anything else. I'll be right back. Okay, so Gmer here. Uh finished scanning and I don't see anything out of the ordinary I see you know drivers for different uh, programs that we have on the computer I don't see anything relating to that rootkit so what I can imagine is that that rootkit got dropped by a piece of software and it's just sitting here but it's not active so it's good to still have something to detect it and get it out but either way 
Uh, and we still have this Trojan that's sitting in a, in a temp file here. Um, so there you go. Um, PC tools didn't do that great. Um, let's see what kind of uh, usage we get out of it. See what kind of RAM usage and everything we get. It does seem to slow down the computer a lot, though. I can, I can definitely feel it. Okay, that's nice. Hmm. That's very interesting. Blue screen of death. I wonder if there's something else running on here um, that might have been missed. I'm trying to think, who could I? What could I run on here to double check? Okay, I'm gonna grab um, a squared free and do a scan now that. Uh, people might say, well, A squared is included in Hitman Pro. That's right, it is, but it's not. It detects much better when you use the actual module, and I've done testing with this, and as good as Hitman Pro is, uh, A squared is better, mainly because Hitman Pro, I think, uses their own engine and what they scan and compares it against the signatures. It doesn't use the engine from these separate companies that they're using, they're just getting the signatures. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to see if something got missed here that's caused it to blue screen like that. So I'll be back when uh, A squared free finishes scanning. Okay, so um, A squared finished uh, scanning and it only found that one uh, Trojan. So it looks like um, it can't, it didn't find that root kit. Um, that Hitman Pro found, and that's kind of the weird thing. Um, how could I say this? Hitman Pro has Icarus built in, but so does A squared, um, which is kind of weird. But it detects it here at Hitman Pro does with the Icarus engine, if I remember right. But it doesn't detect it when I scan with A squared. Now this is the f the free version, um, which is um, uh, four point five, not five point oh. And what you saw there, that malware was a quick scan that I did with. Uh, and see now now it doesn't find it. Okay, it's weird. That that root kit that I found was kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, well, that, that kind of goes how the video goes. Um, in the end, though, Spyware Doctor wasn't that great. Um, I personally wouldn't spend my money on it. Um, I, I did turn it off now while I was running those scans. Uh, I did feel the computer slow down. So, I mean, there's better solutions out there. Um, that have better real time and zero day protection and better signatures. So there you go. There's uh, the new Spyware Doctor review. Hope everyone liked it and um, talk to everybody later. Take care.